Greetings, infidels. I am Varshin Ali B. Abu Abagdati, and I am taking over for the Vu's today. I will be substituting for the Vu's for this video. He will be back on the next video, so don't you worry, the Vu's has not gone anywhere. He just, um, asked me to do this because this is up my alley. Okay? Assalamu alaikum, infidels. Um, okay, there was a pipe bomb explosion in the subway today, injuring four people. Yeah. Okay, Manhattan. A man with a pipe bomb strapped to his body with Velcro and zip ties set off the crude device in the subway near Times Square on Monday, injuring him and three other people at the height of the morning rush hour. That is very elementary if you're going to do something like that. you got to be sure you're very um, on point with this. Um, all four were being treated for non-life-threatening injuries in what the mayor and police labeled an attempted terror attack. The explosion happened in Long Island Underground, no, Long Underground Passageway that runs a full city block under 42nd Street between 7th and 8th Avenues. The 7.20 a.m. blast caused smoke to fill the passageway, which was crowded with Monday morning commuters. Mayor Bill de Blasio and Police Commissioner James P. O'Neill labeled it an attempted terror attack. And that's what it was. Um, thank God the perpetrator did not achieve his ultimate goals, de Blasio said. The suspect was identified as 27-year-old Akid Ula. Okay, the law enforcement officials said he was inspired by the Islamic State group, but apparently not had not had any direct contact with the group. The official says he lives in Brooklyn and may be of Bangladeshi descent. Do officials spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anatomy because they were not authorized to speak about the blast. Authorities said the bomb was low-tech explosive device. This low-tech is not high-tech. Um, they were investigating how it was made and combing through the surveillance footage that captured the blast on video. A video posted on social media showed the secure footage in it a man walks through the crowded pedestrian tunnel and the bomb suddenly going off in a plume of a white smoke. Through the smoke, the suspect is then seen sprawled on the ground as bystanders flee. Ah! Fire officials said suspect had burns to his hands and abdomen. The others who were injured suffered ringing ears and ears and headaches. So ringing in the ears and the headaches. Police are investigating whether Ula intended to set off the device, the device in the walkway or whether he had meant to do it in, the, in a busier location. So maybe it went off by accident because he was probably trying to get to a busier location and he's trying to blow up as many infidels as he can. But we do not know that as for now. He might have been an accident. The bomb might have went off too early. Okay. Um, a photo published by the New York Post showed a bearded man 
crumple on the ground with his shirt apparently blown off and back suit covering his bare mid off. A police officer is holding the man's hands behind his back. The explosion triggered a massive response by police and firefighters both above and below ground, tangling subway and bus device by the nearby Port Authority bus terminal. El Elena Paratla, no, Elena Paratla, a customer service worker for Greyhound, said she works in the Port Authority terminal complex near where the blast happened, and but didn't hear the explosion. Must be deaf. I don't know. Um, we all we could hear is the chaos. She said. We can hear the people yelling, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. John Miles, 28, of Vermont, was waiting for a bus to Massachusetts. He also didn't hear the blast, but saw the police react. I didn't know what was going on. Officers were running around. I was freaking out, he said. There was an announcement that people should take their bugs and leave. They did it inside panic. It was fairly orderly. Orderly. Okay. New York has seen its share of terror attacks in recent years. On October 31st, a man drove a rented truck on a bike path in the World Trade Center, killing eight people. Video from above the crossroads of the world showed lines of police and emergency vehicles their lights flashing, lining the streets, and no other vehicle traffic moving. Everything around the Port Authority was shut down for a few hours. A surreal scene of still what would ordinarily be blusting rush hour. But by 10 a.m., much of the area had returned to normal. Authorities said... By evening, rush hour, everything would be reopened. New Jersey transit buses headed to the Port Authority were diverting to other locations. NJ Transit said buses taking passengers to Securios and Hoboken, where they could take trains into the city. White House Press Security Sarah Sanders tweeted that President Donald Trump had been briefed on the explosion. Okay. That is all, um, infidels. Okay. Yes, yeah, so now they have the guy in custody and he's going to jail on a failed tele-attack. So now, um, the Vu's News will be back with you on the next video. But I am Varsin Ali B. Abu Abakdati. And I am all for the work of Allah and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So please subscribe to his channel. And hit the notification bell because my Vuz is crazy and he gets some videos taken down because people get butt hurt out there. And message you to people of the law. You are doing these bogus attacks for nothing. It's stupid. Um, you got no work for the law done. Okay, Varshin Ali B. Abu Abagdati signing out. Assalamu alaikum, infidels.